All right, welcome to the training, everybody. Uh, my name is Trevor, and today we're talking about WholesaleCentral.com, which has been kind of a staple in the product sourcing industry for a long, long time. Um, if you've ever gone out looking for products to sell online, no doubt this has probably been one of your stops. And a lot of you guys who are here live with me um, haven't used it before. I haven't focused on it quite as much, but I thought today I would share with you guys a little bit and uh, kind of talk to you about how you can use Wholesale Central. The whole point of Wholesale Central is to be a directory, a business-to-business -business directory, um, mostly for people like us who are looking to find product to sell. Um, for everything that we teach you guys on eBay, we teach you retail drop shipping. We, we teach you guys wholesale drop shipping and international sourcing of product. This this is an interesting one because this focuses more on trying to find some wholesale drop shippers. So if you're within your first couple of weeks in the program, two, three weeks, you, you probably should remain focusing on retail drop shipping to get started. But if you're beyond that and you're ready to go out and find wholesale companies, this is a really, really great place to go. Okay. So let me let me tell you a little bit about it since most of you guys don't know. First of all, I'll tell you one thing I love about Wholesale Central. At the very, very top here, there's something called a trade show calendar. Okay, do you see where my mouse is right here? I'm gonna just I'm just gonna circle that so you guys can you guys can see that. You see that right there? It's a it's a trade show calendar. By the way, I love my new little pen feature. This is a this is a new thing here on on GoToWebinar for me. I'm going to use this a lot. So there you go. There it is right there. I might use this a little, bit, a little bit too much now that I've got it. Let me erase that though. You guys see all that? Okay. I'm going to click on that and show you that. What What's a trade show by the way? Who knows what, who knows, who's, who knows what a trade show is? Or, or I guess even a better question is who of you guys have um, have been to a, a trade show before? Lucretia, you have? Cool. What kind? Of, what kind of trade show was it? Elaine, you have too. Gary has. I'm curious. Spit it out, everybody. What what kind of trade shows have you attended? Russell's been to a technology one. Okay, cool. Oh, a marketing one. Were you in one of the booths or something, Lucretia, for for Hershey? Like, were you in in the booth at the trade show, or were you were you just there? Oh, you were in the booth. Cool. Very very cool. John, you've been to an RV one or a gardening one. Food service for Gary Automobile. Yeah, you guys have been to a lot of trade shows. So trade shows are where vendors go. I'll use your definition, Gail. Vendors go to share their products, right? We have one of the biggest trade shows in a, in the United States here in Utah for um, outdoorsmen, outdoor people, I should say, right? So if you're into camping and hiking and fishing and hunting, um, I think it's in February. So we had it a few months ago, but it's up in Salt Lake City. Huge trade show, right? All these big names big brands, big companies end up setting up booths and putting out their products. And it's not just reserved for the big companies, is it? A lot of times people with who, smaller manufacturers, smaller companies will go and they'll set up a little, a little booth and, and try to get their name out there. You got to remember that a lot of suppliers, they, you know, they're, they're in the same conundrum you guys are when you first start out. If I'm a manufacturer of a product, and I think I've got this really great product. I'm desperate to get it out there and get people to see it. But it's hard work just through a website sometimes. So these people will go out to trade shows, pay whatever it is, 1500 bucks, 1000 bucks to set up a booth. And then all of the different people like you and I, retail sellers, you know, peruse that trade show and, and we get introduced to these different companies and different products. I, th I still think trade shows are probably one of the very best ways to find good products to sell online, either from a wholesale perspective or from a drop shipping perspective. So let me let me circle all the way back to how this relates here. This is this is a trade show calendar, and uh, 
WholesaleCentral.com puts together this calendar. And so you can see right here, this is for uh, for April. It's April 22nd today, so let me scroll down. You can see all kinds of different trade shows. See, here's one right here. That happened on the 15th, the Gem and Jewelry Trade Show, Hawaiian Market Merchandise Expo. That was out in Hawaii. Museum Store Expo, um, Bead Show in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, National Association of Broadcasters in Nevada, so on and so forth. Coming up here, you've got the Great American Gem, Gem Show in Oklahoma City. Um, anyway, so on and so forth. Some really cool stuff. So that's that's um, that's in April, and then you could go into May, and uh, there's tons and tons and tons of these. So I show you this because if you're – I know, I know most of you guys probably don't have the time or the money to hop on and, and start like traveling the United States, going to all kinds of different trade shows. If, if you're in the jewelry business, you might want to scan through the calendar here and see if there's a jewelry trade show near you during the year. And then you'd go attend and you could see if you can make contacts with some really, you know, really unique vendors that may not otherwise be available through searching the Internet. You know, sometimes that's the only way you can find these new companies. So I would encourage you to at least browse through this and see if there's anything local to you. If you have an existing niche and you're you're already in the outdoor industry or the jewelry industry or the baby industry or whatever you're in, um, look for stuff that's related to you. And if you've got a little extra money, I'd consider going and attending one of these. Now, they're always a little expensive, right? Because if you're going to attend a trade show, you've got to... You, first there's there's the plane ticket right three four hundred bucks and then you probably have to you have to eat while you're out there for a couple of days you know whatever that would be 100, 150 bucks or whatever and then you've got to stay in a hotel there's another couple hundred bucks and then you've actually got to buy your ticket into the trade show now that depends on the trade show itself right some trade shows don't actually cost money to get into most uh do and so you, you know, you might spend a few hundred dollars just getting into the trade show or more. So it's kind of an expensive way to go about looking for suppliers. But if you've already got a business going and you know your niche and you're really looking to expand in that niche, this is probably one of the very best ways to do it. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. If you're if you're interested or if there's some something there local, use this little calendar and and uh, just check for opportunities to go out and find products because it is by far one of the best ways to source product, okay? We could get into talking more about trade shows. I want to leave it there. I just wanted to share with you the calendar. Um, Wholesale Central is just what I was telling you guys a minute ago. It's, it's a directory. So if you look right here, you see all sorts of different categories. These guys are owned by a company called um, Sumner Communications. Clear, And they, they've been around since the late 80s. And their big claim is they were the original directory on the internet for like finding wholesalers, right? And they and they claim that they get somewhere in the neighborhood of half a million views on their website every single month, uh, which is a which is a lot of views. And so what they do is if you're a wholesale company of some kind, this isn't this is this is B to B, right? This is business to business. This is not business to consumer so this isn't for people just to go shopping this is for people like us to find product and the companies that get listed here pay to be here they pay a, a flat fee to be listed inside wholesale central so it's not crap that you're seeing it's not they're not garbage companies they're paying to be in this directory although i i, I suppose i can't advocate every company that's here but uh you can assume most are going to be okay and so you come in here and and you're interested in uh whatever let's let's find something uh I was going to say find something maybe seasonal. You guys see anything for like patio or spring or gardening, something seasonal. Well, let's not even do that. Let's just do uh I don't know. Oh, lawn and garden right here. Let's click on that. So you click lawn, lawn and garden here, and you've got accessories, flags, green products, furniture, plants, soils, chemicals, tools. Uh, maybe we click furniture, narrow it down a little bit. And they've got one company that specifically fits the bill here. 
and you can look, these guys are based out of California. Um, Attico, Aidco, something like that trading, offers tradi traditional and contemporary furniture, car accessories, sporting goods, home decor, houseware, and outdoor products. And then they have a phone number right here. So I could click on the name of this company and it'll probably take me to a page that gives me a bunch of information about them. Um, they're a wholesale company, there's no minimum order. That's exciting, that means they probably have some sort of drop shipping service. By the way, I gotta tell you, uh, not, not all these companies drop ship, first of all. So when we're looking through Wholesale Central, we're not making the assumption that everybody here drop ships. Uh, there's probably a good majority of these companies that will expect you to buy in bulk. Um, how much bulk, I don't know. We'll look at a few together, but these guys don't seem to have a minimum order. So then you could go check out their website, Aidco or Attico Trading, whatever that is, and uh, do a look at it and, and see if you can't find anything you like. Um, looks like they've got some nice product. So you could you could come in here and and you might inquire if you don't see anything about wholesale or dropship you might contact them and inquire about that. Um, they uh, anyway looks like it looks like a pretty interesting com company if you're in that um, in, in that niche. Oh, you're you're exactly right. You're exactly right, Lucretia. They do. Sorry, I missed that. Ad Aidco offers drop shipping service and wholesale to business. There you go. Um, yeah, they. I, I think they import from China, it sounds like. So it looks like they're probably a, what they probably are, they're based in California, so they're probably importing a ton of stuff at, at really rock bottom prices, and then they keep it in their California warehouse and then and then use that for drop ship here in America. That's a, that's a pretty common practice, okay? So there you go. There, I mean, there's a supplier right there. Um, and and wholesale wholesale central here has has lots of those. Now they do have. I thought what was interesting about wholesale central is I've used it. Is they do actually have a section for drop shipping. So you can look here. Um, oh, right here it says drop shippers. You see that? Let me get my magic pen here. There you go. Drop shippers right there in their directory. And and they do distinguish some. Although that is not an exhaustive list, by the way. So. Like you can find drop shippers in other areas, but uh, that's at least one area you can look. So I click on drop shippers here. I can I can filter through other categories, and then they've got some featured sellers, and then so on and so forth. Um, you know, some of these companies may cost money to work with, so don't don't use them if if you see that they're going to cost money, unless unless they look good or look like they're worth it. Um. I don't know. I you can find some pretty good companies out of here. I certainly have over the years. But again, don't don't search through drop shippers here and then just jump to the conclusion that this is all they have. Um they have much more than this. In fact, there's only 79 matches that fit the bill of wholesale drop shipper. I think there's many more wholesale drop shippers in here. You just have to go hunting for them. Okay. So let's do another one. Somebody mentioned um Oh, Gary, you said there's a holiday and seasonal one that I must have missed. Oh, right here. Yeah, holiday and seasonal. So there's beach items, Christmas, Halloween. Okay, I know Halloween's a ways away, but let's click Halloween anyway. Usually you, you do your Halloween research mid-summer so you're prepared for the fall. Um, and then they list a bunch of product or suppliers here. Dollar item direct. Interesting. They're based out of Colorado. There you go, Jeff. They're in. They're in Denver. Let's click on them. Dollar item direct. Um, now, do they drop ship? I actually, I actually don't know. We could certainly contact them and see, but they carry a whole ton of stuff. Look at all this. They're probably similar to that other company where they import stuff out of China and bring it in. Uh, over 8,000 wholesale items in stock, school supplies, backpacks, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Groovy candles, candies, sorry, groovy candies based out of Ohio. Wholesale princess out of Missouri. 
right? These will, these will take you directly over to their site. Now, again, I'm not going to make the assumption these guys drop ship. They may or may not, but I'm going to look for that contact page somewhere here. If I like their products, I'm going to try to contact them. Uh, here's their contact us right here. Um, yeah, so I'd send them a message here and just say, hey, you know, found you online. You can even say I found you through wholesalecentral.com. Just wondering, do you guys offer any drop shipping or, or discounts to other to other resellers? And they can get back to you on that. Okay. So there you go, guys. I mean, I, I don't know if that helps or not. Wholesale Central has actually been one. I mean, back when I first started learning about um, this whole process, this was, you know, better part of 10 years ago. One of my first mentors, um, as I was looking for my very first niche, was like, hey, uh, go look at Wholesale Central, see if you can find something. And I remember pouring over this directory for hours upon hours and actually found some of my very, very first suppliers right directly out of this list. This is similar to Thomas Net. You remember when I showed you guys Thomas Net a few weeks ago? Some of you guys may remember this. Um, Thomas, hold on, thomasnet.com. You guys remember this one? This was that more industrial type directory, but it's very similar um, to to uh, Wholesale Central. This, I feel like Thomas Net's a little tougher to work off of. I think most of you guys probably will find Wholesale Central. Um, a little more consumer friendly, a little more, a little more uh, related to the types of products that you guys are probably going to be selling. Okay, so that's it. There's some other sections here. They have a top suppliers section, and I don't really know what that means other than there's a chance that these these companies are paying to be considered a quote unquote top supplier. Um, they have a deals and steals section, a, a product locator where you can come in here and and uh do some searches for some different products. I don't know. There's it's it's a pretty good uh it's a pretty good directory. One one of the the most well known. So, if you are if you are looking for additional suppliers, uh this might be a great place for you to look. And so I thought I'd share that with you guys today. Write it down. It's wholesalecentral.com. Um if nothing else, use it to locate trade shows, but uh I would also consider it as another option for finding additional suppliers as you go. If you don't find it here, does it mean it's not out It's not out there? Of course not. I mean, this is just one place. Only companies that are willing to pay here are being listed here, but it's, it's sure a good place to start. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today. Um, any, any other questions about Wholesale Central and, and doing a little bit of product sourcing this way this way before we finish up? I'll give you just a minute to comment um and then and then we'll finish up. Um you guys are buyers, Donna. You're you're a buyer. Suppliers would be companies that are trying to get listed here. Yeah, you know what? It 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 is an intriguing database. It is very intriguing. If you haven't looked here before, you should. I mean, and all the things you can do in terms of finding suppliers, which which I want to talk more about in these in these eBay trainings because it's such an important part. I mean, if you don't have anything to sell on eBay, you're you know, you're dead in the water. No matter how good your marketing is, you got to have some good suppliers. Wholesale Central is good. Thomasnet.com is good. Doing the good old-fashioned Google search can work too. Going to trade shows can work. Using our research team here in-house can work. I mean, there's a there's a lot of ways to find these companies. Using retailers to start off can work. I mean, uh, you know, try a little bit of everything and see what works for you. Great. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish up with that in mind. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go go enjoy the nice weather. And uh, I will see you guys back here for some more eBay training on uh, next Friday. Okay? Thanks again. See you guys soon.